Daniel, Miracle Man Jacobs, says Saul Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy Promotions tried to implement a weight limit to affect him to have an advantage, but it won't have any effect on him and it won't help Canelo Alvarez. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. Weight wise, I'm great. I, I, I'm, I'm stellar. Um, you know, this whole seven, uh, 10 day weigh in for the next day, that's not really going to affect me. And it's definitely not going to dictate what I'm going to come into the ring as because if that's the reason why they implemented it because the IBF took that rule away once it's a unification match so it was definitely something that Golden Boy implemented so that I'm not sure if they're looking at it as an advantage or what but it was their doing and for me it's not going to affect me what's good YouTube it's your boy Booba Sports TV back at y'all with another one so Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs is claiming that uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez and his promotion team, Golden Boy Promotion, Oscar De La Hoya, implemented this weight limit. He stated that the IBF waived that, um, the weight limit the day after you can only gain 10 pounds the day after the weigh-in. Uh, he said they, they waived that when you're dealing with unification bouts. He says that. So this is definitely a rule that uh, Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy Promotion implemented to have an advantage over me, but it won't help them. Um, my issue with this is Saul Canelo Alvarez has been doing this for quite some time. He's been making up his own weights. Uh, he was fighting at supposedly 55, I mean at 54, and he was having matches at 55. You know, they was calling it Canelo weight, right? He was making up his own weight class. Uh, he's always um, had fights where, you know, he has implemented catch weights and <clears throat> you can only gain this amount of weight and so on and so forth you know it's to play mind games and to have an advantage he's been doing this for quite some time now uh and it takes a, quite quite frankly it takes away from his legacy because people look at him uh and they look and they say well you never fought this guy at his at his natural weight you never fought this guy at his natural weight uh up until this point the only guy he actually faced at his natural weight was uh Gennady triple g Golovkin, and uh and uh james kirkland you know outside of that you know, he was either pulling guys up from 47 or pulling guys down and fighting them at catch weights or guys at 54. He couldn't make 54, so he's fighting at 55. You know, it was, it was absolutely ridiculous. And here we have a situation where this is one of the biggest fights in the sport of boxing. Uh, it's a unification bout. The IBF doesn't have the rule. The WBC doesn't have this rule, right? The, the WBA doesn't have this rule. But yet Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy Promotion implement a rule to prevent Danny Jacobs from getting up to a weight that they think he's comfortable at. You know, there was a lot of rumors that Danny Jacobs gained, uh, went up to 185 pounds for the Triple G fight. Triple G and um, and uh, Abel Sanchez and his team was complaining that Danny Jacobs was a light heavyweight and, you know, so on and so forth. He was a cruiserweight when he got in the ring, all types of stuff, right? And with that said, Danny Jacobs, you know, uh, is stating that, you know, it's not going to bother him one bit because he already been following the rules of the IBF for quite some time. He says that, um, you know, um, but just for this fight, it wasn't even a rule. It's just something that they implemented. You know, um, <clears throat> this is I have an issue with this because don't take away from the fighter, you know, uh, granted that Danny Jacobs is the IBF, IBF champion. So he would have to follow these rules if it wasn't a unification bout. But the fact that it's not a rule, why are you making up rules? If you're fighting Danny Jacobs, fight Danny Jacobs, point blank and period. Leave it as it may. Don't make up your own rules to have an advantage in the fight because it takes away from the fight. It takes away from your victory because people look and say, well, Triple G fought Danny Jacobs at Danny Jacobs' natural weight. He let Danny Jacobs balloon to whatever he, he, he chose to balloon up to. You drained him. You understand what I'm saying? So it just makes no sense. I don't like it. You know, if it's not part of the rules, if it's not part of the, the, um, the um, you know, the regulations, then why are you implementing it for your fight to have an advantage? It makes no sense, right? You know, uh, so 
Uh, the mind games that they play, the things that they do to keep Saul Canelo Alvarez on pace, we know they have issues with judges. Uh, one judge had him uh, a draw with Floyd Mayweather when we clearly saw Floyd Mayweather won uh, every round. If not, you know, one round, we gave Canelo Alvarez, if he could find the round to give Canelo Alvarez. You know, uh, this is just, it's just, it just happens all too often. You know, we saw uh, one judge against, when he fought Triple G, one judge had him winning uh, 11 rounds or something like that, 10, uh, tw 10 rounds, something ridiculous like that. Uh, you know, it's just too too many things that um, come into play when dealing with Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, it's just not fair. You know, um, in the sport of boxing, man, it's not even playing field. He's always trying to look for an advantage, fighting that advantage. If you're a short, stocky guy and you, and you can't make 47, 54, and you had to move up to 60, that's your issue, right? That's nobody else's issue. So if Danny Jacobs could comfortably make a 60 and he's a six foot tall, six foot one middleweight and he's comfortably making uh, 160. Listen, you got to deal with that, right? There's no way you should be telling, well, you know, this guy's a big middleweight, so we need to drain him. Oh, come on, man. It just takes away from the sport, takes away from boxing, you know. Uh, so, you know, uh, casuals won't understand what's going on, but hardcore boxing fans understand what's going on. Uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy Promotions puts in a rule for Danny Jacobs that wasn't even in existence. They made up their own rule to prevent him from gaining weight. Unbelievable. But that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to new media. Shout out to black media role. Make sure you like and share these videos. Daniel, the Miracle Man, Jacob says Saul Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy Promotion implemented a, a rehydration rule that was not even part of the regulations. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby.